Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is May 11, 2022, Wednesday of the fourth week of Easter. The first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. The Word of God continued to spread and grow. After Barnabas and Saul completed their relief mission, they returned to Jerusalem, taking with them John, who is called Mark. Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manian who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshipping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. So they, sent forth by the Holy Spirit, went down to Seleucia and from there sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived in Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. Responsorial Psalm O God, let all the nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us, may he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth, among all nations, your salvation. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exult because you rule the people's inequity, the nations on the earth you guide. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the peoples praise you, O God, may all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. O God, let all the nations praise you. Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord, whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel According to John Jesus cried out and said, Whoever believes in me believes not only in me but also in the one who sent me, and whoever sees me sees the one who sent me. I came into the world as light, so that everyone who believes in me might not remain in darkness. And if anyone hears my words and does not observe them, I do not condemn him, for I did not come to condemn the world but to save the world. Whoever rejects me and does not accept my words has something to judge him, the word that I spoke, it will condemn him on the last day, because I did not speak on my own, but the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. So what I say, I say as the Father told me. Reflection Jesus declares his unity with his Father and his longing for that relationship with us. This unity is so close that communication is always flowing from them to us, their concern is for us to live in the light and not the darkness. Jesus declares his unity with his Father and his longing for that relationship with us. This unity is so close that communication is always flowing from them to us. Their concern is for us to live in the light and not the darkness. That's the end of the reflection from the sacred space. Subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell, so you won't miss out on my next upload. Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.